Serine is one of the 20 amino acids found in many proteins. It can be really hard to keep all the amino acids straight in your head. So in this visual mnemonic, I'm going to give you an easy way to remember the chemical structure and all the properties of serine so you'll be ready to crush it come test day. Uh-oh, it looks like someone's getting pulled over by the cops. To alert the driver that he's getting pulled over, you've decided to flash the lights and sirens on your police car. Coincidentally, these loud police sirens happen to be our symbol for serine. Get it? Siren for serine? It's the serine siren. The siren can also help you remember serine's abbreviations, including the three letters S-E-R and the single letter S. You're probably thinking, tell me something I don't know. Okay, let's move on to learn the chemical structure of this amino acid. And what's that in the driver's arm? Is that an alcohol bottle dangling out of the window? How typical. Looks like you've pulled this driver over for drunk driving. By the way, this arm holding an alcohol bottle is our symbol for the hydroxymethyl R group of serine. You know, since hydroxyl is just another name for an alcohol. Recall that all amino acids have a common structure containing an amino group, a carboxyl group, and an R group or side chain around a central or alpha carbon. This R group is the distinguishing feature of each amino acid. And for serine, this R group is a hydroxyl that is, a single carbon, or methyl, attached to a hydroxyl group. This R group attached even looks like the driver's bent arm grasping the alcohol bottle here, don't you think? While we're here, let's cover a few more pertinent characteristics of serine. To get our drunk driver out of the way of passing traffic, you decided to pull the driver over to a parking space. Check out that big parking sign in the car's headlights. You can tell it's a parking sign by that big P on it. By the way, the P on this parking sign is our symbol for phosphorylation. Get it? Since phosphate groups are often abbreviated with the letter P. We've even added the little I next to the P for inorganic phosphate, if it helps. Serine is one of the most commonly phosphorylated amino acids, along with threonine and tyrosine. This is because of the hydroxyl in its R group, which can react with phosphate to form, you guessed it, phosphoserine. This phosphorylation of serine is biologically important for altering protein activity, and it plays many important roles in cell signaling and metabolic pathways. Okay, back to the story. Looks like this driver was so drunk that he's even fallen unconscious at the wheel. To wake up our drunk driver, you've decided to throw some water over his face. That should sober him right up. By the way, this water is our symbol for polar or hydrophilic amino acids. You know, since polar, or hydrophilic, refers to water-loving things that dissolve easily in water. Serine is a polar hydrophilic amino acid. For you chemistry buffs out there, this is because of the electronegativity of the oxygen in its hydroxyl group, which adds polarity to the molecule and lets it coordinate with water. Due to this polar nature, serine is water-soluble, making it dissolve well in aqueous, or watery, environments. I mean, this guy is definitely covered in water right now, isn't he? For test day, this means that serine will often be found on the outside of proteins or cell membranes, where it gets to have a lot of contact with water. A final note before we end, serine is neutral. That is, it has zero net charge at physiological pH. This is because serine's hydroxyl group will almost never be deprotonated or protonated to hold a charge at physiological pH. Got that? All right. That's it for serine. Let's summarize what we've learned. Serine, which abbreviates to the letters S-E-R, or one letter S, is one of the 20 amino acids that make up proteins in our body. Serine's R group is a hydroxymethyl group, that is, an alcohol attached to a single bridging carbon. Because of its hydroxyl group, serine can be phosphorylated. In fact, it is the amino acid most likely to be phosphorylated in our body. Serine is also a polar hydrophilic amino acid with a neutral charge at physiological pH. Okay, now we're actually done with serine. Let's hope our drunk driver is feeling a little more sober and make sure he gets home safe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.